Hello awesome people. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at the second book in the World of Lone Wolf series by Ian Page, edited by Joe Dever, uh, The Forbidden City, uh, which I read last night for the second time. Uh, this the, this uh, four book series uh, was published, uh, sort of a mini series if you will, uh, was published in the mid 80s um, in the midst of the big sales that the Lone Wolf book was getting at the time. The original published books were published in the mid 80s and then uh, were published up through book 29 a lot of books um through the end of the 90s at the end once again book craze had died down it's one of the best-selling uh game book series of all time this is a spin-off in the southern part of the uh, nation and your key character a gray star the wizard uh is a uh somebody who, who washed up on a shore of a far-flung island uh un that's under the control of the wizard shianti he is raised as a shianti and <laughs> gets their powers um, and now he is out on a four uh, now, now he's on a quest, uh, to, and in the first book, his quest is to find uh, a lost tribe so that he can get a guide uh, to the uh, Nightmare uh, Gate. Uh, and in this book, they're going to the Nightmare Gate. Uh, and in the third book, he's, he's in the, the, the another plane of existence trying to find uh, the Moonstone. And then in the fourth book, he'll come back and take out the Big Bad. And that's the sort of sort of each of these four are each telling one giant part. And that was sort of what made this game book series so unique is that you have the same characters, the same concepts, uh, you keep the same items. You'll evolve, for example, from book one to book two in this series. Your willpower increases by ten, and you get another another uh, sorcery uh, or uh, ma magical skill. So you so you level up, right? Uh, and you gain. You also get to keep your items, the golds that you find, and the coins that you find, right? Or that you didn't, or that you started with that you didn't spend, plus more. Uh, so so it has. Uh, this sort of in, in, enduring quality, right? And so, whereas other game book series were just here's here's a single book adventure, here's a single book adventure, here's a single book adventure. And that's really what made uh, this game book stand out to fans and why they still love it so much. Now, I only read this book once when I was a kid. Uh, but you can see it got a whole beat up because it's just a cough soft cover version, right? Uh, and I read it when I was a kid. Uh, and a game book you naturally just go back to and you go back from page to page to page to page to page. It does have nice, nice big printing in it. Here, here I'll show you. You can see it has got, got nice bigger printing in it uh, to make it faster for you to read it. Um, so I knocked it out last night in less than an hour. Uh, I read it from 57 to 40, 48. So it's about. 51 minutes for me to knock it out last night uh, for a second time. I read it online on a website called Project Aeon, which I'll link you to in the comments below. Project Aeon uh, is a gift, uh, as a millennial gift, Joe Dever, the editor of this and the creator of the world and the first series that, that, that kick things off, uh, that this is a spinoff of, he, uh, as a millennial gift to his fans, he gave away the IP. <laughs> So 2005, uh, this uh, trilogy, uh, sorry, sorry, four book quartet, rather, uh, and will, will be released on Project Aeon as well. So it's for free online. So I read it for free online. So I've wanted to go back and reread it. Uh, so I had a chance to do that. Now I'm giving this the same rating that I gave the previous one, a six uh, plus, like, like it'd be a 6.3 or 6.4 that I'm writing down uh, to a six. Uh, because it's still super fast, right? It's got it's got 310 pages, uh, sections in it rather, uh, which and where whereas the normal one's about 350, uh, so you're not getting uh, as much uh, from your your effort, right? Uh, and, and it's pretty quick to knock out through. So, you know, and, and as a reminder, I gave six to the first book by Joe Denver in the regular series as to Flight from the Dark. So that that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, although I gave it eight to the definitive edition. Uh, if you recall. But anyway, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Uh, so I'm giving this a 6 plus yeah, out of 10. But if you disagree with that, just let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. But by my reason, it's fast. It doesn't grip you. It doesn't have the sort of epic feel uh, of the story. It's, we're just moving from point A to point B, right? Uh, and while there are some side adventures in there, right? It doesn't have same sort of an epic feel that the previous uh, series that this is a spinoff has although the, although the overall sort of arcing concept is certainly certainly epic kill, kill the big band uh, who's dominating the area named the witch king but again it just doesn't which which you'll get to him before war of the wizards uh but right now it's still sort of just world building right and padding and and not deep and and dark uh, right anyway so it's only getting a six plus 
uh, out of out of a ten. But that's that's why I gave it the rating that it does. I am going back and rereading a lot of things I've read when I was a kid or in junior high, high school or college that I've never gone back. And now I'm 45, right? So I have the perspective of having read a lot of things in the meantime, decades of time, right? And these sorts of things. I think it's pretty cool. So uh, I do think there's value in doing that. So have you gone back and reread these this, the game book series or, or things like that? Uh, if not, I would encourage you to do so because I think there's value you know and you going out there and having a sort of perspective now in the, the lone wolf character was a psychic ranger uh, with psychic abilities uh, like mind blast and mind shield and mind over matter and six sense and some ranger abilities like tracking and animal kinship and camouflage right and hunting uh, so this so this version you are you are a uh, a wizard and you have five skills uh, that you start off with of seven and then uh, you gain one more in book two, but heading to book three, you only get to keep that one. You don't have the last one. If I remember correctly, and again, this is a long time, heading into book four, after you found the Moonstone, you're going to level up massively. You're now going to have greater magics uh, that you'll have access to, if I recall correctly. Although I'm, it's been like decades, right? And I really was a kid, so it's possible. Uh, but I think that happens uh, moving from book th uh, three uh, to book four, after you finished it. But anyway. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read The Forbidden City or the rest of the series? Anything else? But Ian Page, as a reminder, uh, is a lead singer uh, for a major band. Um, uh, so, so you might know him uh, f from that, but he is now writing these four books. And if I recall, from his Wikipedia page, these are the only four books that Ian Page has ever read. So there you go. I'll leave you to it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you pulled me, the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.